What is up, YouTube? Lazy Lama here, and here we are back with some more Slay the Spire. Uh, t today, we're gonna actually hop in with the. Uh, I was checking the daily challenge. I wasn't sure if it changed. We're gonna hop in with the Silent. I'm not gonna go in Ascension mode. Um, I think next video we might try Ascension mode as the Ironclad. I'm not sure though. Um, I still wanna get more consistent with wins on YouTube before I start getting to that. Um, I do actually want to try to do some stuff where I try to get like win streaks going as like the Ironclad, um, preferably probably the Ironclad. Actually, I'm starting to like him a lot more than I like the Silent. Uh, the Silent's a lot of fun, uh, but I feel more comfortable with the Ironclad at this point. Nonetheless, uh, I kind of like the Studying Relic, but we could swap it out. I mean, the two extra cards on your you know first turn of combat's not bad. It really allows you to you know pull possible like neutralize or something. Uh, that's not too bad. Although. Let's just go with the safe route. Upgrade neutralize. That's a really good thing to do too. I didn't even look at our pathing. What we're expecting. We don't get heals after combat. So um, pulling elites isn't quite as easy. We could take three combat. Question mark combat. Heal combat. Bam. It's not too bad. There's a lot of upgrading over here. Kind of depends on what we get card wise. I said we start with those three Maybe we hit the early shop. I mean, it's a little early, like too early. I uh, kind of want like a decent score going into this as well. It's not like I'm just trying to uh, just trying to win. I mean, I'd like to get a decent score all the way through. Uh, it's fun trying to break a new score each time. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get the kill, but we're not gonna take any damage either. The chance of us not drawing a kill here is pretty slim. Yeah. Bam. Beautiful. Flawless start. Uh, we will take the Noxious Fumes. We'll get going on that. That's actually not a bad idea. So maybe I want to migrate to these two. Although I get two over here. I'll probably have to heal though. There's three up there actually. I'd be getting no elites. Which would give me kind of a downside as far as that goes. But you get the three there, and then you get the one last one after a couple pieces. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to heal somewhere. I'm just trying to think upgrade wise. I don't know if I can squeeze an elite into this too and get everything I want. My best bet's probably still the way I was saying. Let's take a question mark over combat though. Just try to avoid a little bit of fighting. Um. So we upgrade a card. We get noxious teams upgraded, or we obtain a relic. That's a really annoying thing. Can we still hit that shop? We can. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. Unceasing cop. That's awesome. Um, so it allows us to grab more more cards. For anyone who doesn't know what that does, uh, basically whenever you run out of cards, you draw another card. Um, and we can remove it. That, because that's really obnoxious there. Uh, we still got 39 left. Leg sweep is beautiful. It's just expensive. And I don't know if I'm feeling it right now. Expensive to play, not expensive to buy there. So question mark, fight, upgrade. Um receive a relic. Man, that's actually not that bad. Each could you have in your hand. We don't have any ways to exhaust. And honestly, my next shop. See, I wouldn't want to hit that. Wouldn't be on this floor. Uh let's take the max HP. It's very tempting. I don't really like playing with relics on the silent as most of the time. I don't even know if there's a way to really buff yourself much off of it. That is probably the... W Actually, that's not bad. That, <laughs> these guys pulled it back. The Noxious Fumes into the Devil Strike. That's not too bad. I'm say, I did, you don't want any defense against this guy in the first turn. This is a guy you got to get rid of as soon as possible. He's very annoying. Uh, the Neutralize, uh, pretty easy hand. The Neutralize just makes it so he's not doing anything. Plus, he's weak next turn. Um... So instead of doing nine, he's only going to do, I think, yeah, six. They round up on it. Uh, and we got survivors, so we'll take no damage. Um, actually, we kill. The, the uh, poison will actually kill him right here before he can attack. So saves us time. Block potion's really great. I like throwing dagger. Um, it does force a discard. And prepared is really good too. I mean, that kind of is the same thing. It just costs nothing. It's more of a free cycle, but I think we will take the throwing dagger. We'll skip that elite. Like I said, we're going to hit that one. So with this guy, we'll smith the... What does that go up to? 12 damage? I thought it was more cards, but definitely the Noxious Fumes. Noxious Fumes are great if you can get them stacking. 
Hopefully a relatively easy fight. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. We're definitely gonna take damage because actually, actually the neutralize may have saved us. Yeah, we mm, we're still taking some damage because I do not feel like playing that slow. If we had survivor, we would have been all right, but we did not. A little damage here and there isn't that bad. Do the nine. It doesn't matter. We're all at attacking. We should be able to kill him next time. I think it's a five block. Six, okay. We're not in ascension mode. I thought it was only five, but uh, nonetheless. That'll take care of that. And the flying knee is really good. I think I'll take it again. The yeah, energy stacking is not bad. Hopefully we can do this without taking any damage. Please, okay. This could be really, okay. We're not going to put the noxious fumes because... It's just honestly not the uh, not the greatest against this guy. You're more of just trying to rush him down before he kills you. We do have a block potion, so we can try to avoid some damage. Wow, all that extra energy, I'm not even going to get to use it. I don't want to play two cards. If we play one, I'm even only taking four. We do give him strength. And as a silence, probably not the best idea because we don't have the best kill potential man all right come on give me an attack thank you I think we drink the potion really try to avoid taking damage because I'd love not to have to heal here and that's like three combats after plus the one before and we'll probably have to heal at the last one before the fight but he's only doing eight here plus we're gonna neutralize so we have all that energy, like, it's anything other than attack, right? When a skill's placed. Alright, we can place that then. We won't buff him. Um, so yeah, we take that damage. It's not worth blocking. I probably could have. We do have three strikes coming. Yeah, we probably actually should have blocked. But we're doing fine on health. Because he's, he's dead here, so. He is dead. Uh, whenever you play a power, okay. So more power is the better. Um, ah, like two of the trades, good, but yeah, you know what? We'll take it. I never really use it. I don't ever give it a chance. I guess so let's give it a go. Um, when viewing your drop power shows the order. Okay, I've never actually gotten that. I've seen it been used, but basically when we view this, we're gonna see what order we're gonna give everything. So now I know, for example, throwing dagger. If I use it, I'm gonna get two of the trade. Which is really good to know. Uh, and actually, because they're not attacking. So I want to get that play too. I could just not play that. And that'll be a free placement next turn. What do we get? Six on the silent, I think. Six cards. You definitely want to get Noxious Humes down. I got to get this guy out because he buffs himself so fast. Yeah, because like normally I would play that because it does 9 damage over the 6 damage, but I want to save that for next turn. I think we're okay with that. Because we can get two of the trade and kind of allows us to cycle through our deck a little more. We might need to place it though. Like, Alright, yeah, we're going to place it. Ooh, you're not even going to kill him. Um. Nope, nope. Oh, I forgot on Seizing Top. I literally could have played that. We only dropped five cards. I forgot. It's the same as the Ironclad. It's five cards. We just, I thought it was more because this thing, thing threw me off. Your first turn of the combat's more. I literally had free damage. At least we cycled back to it. Um, now we draw six cards. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to weaken you. We do have to do some sort of damage to you. So you do that. You're dead. We do that. And we apply the block. And we're at a pretty solid spot. Oh, we got weakened. Um, or vulnerable. So he heard us. Um, bam. Alright. Still doing good on health. I will take that. I'm not a big fan. Like, dodge and rolls can be good. Like, I think I'm just going to say no right now. Like, kind of like waiting to see what we 
get for our deck setup. I might be waiting too long on it, not taking enough cards. What does this do? Just 11 damage. You become free. Honestly, I think we take the free, because then we heal. We can basically get a free 2 HP every time we draw that in combat. And we can place it every time. Just give me something good. Give me something good. Um, we don't need that. I'll just take the 100 gold. We don't have a shop like right in front of us or anything, so... Alright, so an annoying turn for sure, or annoying um, matchup for sure, and they're all attacking. Ouch. Ouch. Um, we can kill rather than defending him. He is doing the most HP. Then we just play that, and we take two damage. One extra energy next turn. Um... We don't need it. I could have looked at that too, actually. I mean, I wanted to use that attack anyways, but I guess I could have went back and looked at what I was going to draw as far as that. So, two of the trade. Heals us. Two HP. Sweet. Um, and, uh, we're playing everything, so... Question is... No, we couldn't have killed either of them. I didn't really think that through, but I was say, could we have killed either of them? So, I think we just pop both of their bubbles, and then, I mean, it... It's literally pointless to attack, but... Oh! Ah! I got it. Alright, I keep forgetting I have unceasing top. I've only ran that, like, once or twice through all my rounds of playing this. Oh, man. It was a Noxious Fumes, too, which would give me more healing. Uh, definitely not going to use the Survivor. I mean... Thank you. Actually, that's good, because now I play this. I heal 2 HP before we end the combat, and then we kill him. It's kind of what I wanted before. I'm glad we redrew it because I made me not feel so bad. Definitely gonna take the dagger spray. Dagger spray is really good. I kind of want to go to the question mark, but I'm also thinking point wise. Combat gives more points. Both attacking. Interesting. Okay. I think we'll play a slower round. How's our next attack? Our next round for aggression. I think we really don't need the, the extra energy for that. Oh, we have unseasoned top though. All right. So extra energy is always good because we we'll always have more cards coming. So I think we're going to play it safe, and I don't honestly really want to heal at the at the boss if I don't have to, before the boss. Who are we fighting? The slime? Yeah, we shouldn't need to. So if we can do this without taking damage, we'd be in pretty good shape. They might go neither of them are buffing. Okay. We're going to get rid of you. We're going to play Noxious. We're going to weaken you, plus do some four. And then again, it, it plays itself... I want to get that guy killable, but I don't necessarily... Yeah, okay. But I don't really want to kill him. We can't place it anyways. We are going to take some damage here. Still be above 60 HP, which is kind of where I'm feeling comfortable with that. Uh, we're going to get rid of defend, and neither of them are attacking, so we're just going to go for it. Not going to get the kill, but... Actually, Poison got the kill. Sweet. So we definitely got the kill here. Bam, 61 HP, gonna be going to this boss fight with a backflip. And we can upgrade a nice old card. Uh, Dagger Spade is pretty decent. Um, again, it really only starts to matter if you're versing multiple enemies. 11 blocks, pretty good. That's 8 block and 2 card draw. Let's do a backflip. I think the backflip will probably be the best. I guess I really don't know, but. Uh, so, we're going to be willing to take the 9 damage and be super aggressive. He's also going to debuff us, which the debuff really sucks. Actually, no it doesn't. Unceasing top kind of counters it to an extent. Although in this, this situation, it's not the greatest. Um, so we discard that. We play Noxious. So what I'm thinking here is we don't need to defend. And I really don't want to draw this I want that next turn so I'm not going to play the defend we're just going to end we wouldn't have energy to play it this turn it would have been awesome to be able to play but he's going to come in with his heavy hit here which we're probably not going to be able to avoid let's call a block in let's get our free tools of the trade up we either go for trying to block this damage or fighting through it a bit 
We're not gonna. We, we can't see what we have because our card pile is empty. I'm thinking we attack one of them and defend. We're taking the damage. We can't force the split. It's gonna hurt no matter what. We're only taking 10 damage. We could have avoided five more. I suppose we maybe should have, but. Um, I don't know. And we do that. Ah, I'm seizing top. I didn't see what that was. <laughs> I'm going to do it all game. <laughs> I want to pick up as many powers as possible. Oh, crap. He's, um, he's prepping to, all right, we're splitting them for 50 HP. Not the best, actually. I probably could have played that a little better. And our poison's gonna wear off, which is worse. And you gotta hit a little bit more. Still 43 HP. One of them's attacking us. We're actually gonna go after the first one here. A little concerned about our. All right, we easily can split him anytime we want now. Just a little, oh, he's gonna, nope, he's not splitting yet. Actually, Poison's gonna split him next turn, so. The Frail's okay. No, 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 no. Um, actually, I probably should have played that differently, but. I know we can force a split right now, so. So he's splitting for 19, you know what? I actually like the idea of you splitting for like basically nothing because poison's gonna hit first. Which makes my poison that's gonna get placed onto them on the first turn killable. Should go back to my turn. They get poison in the beginning, right? Yeah, so these guys are dead instantly. That's what I wanted. Sweet. Uh so bam. Six. Yeah, drawing anything there is not really worth it. So we take 10 damage. That's a win. Definitely didn't need to play that potion, but I suppose it, I guess it really didn't make a huge difference either way. Oh, I keep forgetting. I have to discard. Block and Wraith Form is not bad. Tool of the Trade, we can get multiple to the trade. It could get annoying. I'm going to play a skill for 3 damage. Whenever you play a card, deal 1 damage to all enemies. That's cheaper, and honestly. I don't know if the upgraded version does exactly. I really like this, but we don't have a poison deck. Ah, uh, no, that's bad for us. I think I'd still like it better than any of these, though. These two aren't very good for our current setups. This isn't either, but that'll make it so poison, when something dies, goes to the next thing. So we really, really want to try to force a poison deck. It's hard. It's a bad idea to try to force a deck, but when, when things start aligning like this, all right, I think I see the path we want. Definitely want the shop. Or do we want the later shop? That forces us into an elite. But we can heal after. But no heal before. Um. Oh, there's a shop here, though. Yeah, we, don't want, we don't want two shop nodes that quick. Or close together. Alright, so we're going to play... Do we just take 12 damage? I don't think so. As much as I want to... I wanted to get this place. I think we still get the Noxious. And we're not going to break through his shield anyways. So let's play defensive. We can kind of do that with this with this setup. We definitely need more ways to poison. Bouncing flasks would be great. Um, more Noxious stuff would be great. Uh, I didn't think of that either, but we're good. We're taking taking some damage. That ain't too bad, though. This guy's really annoying. I really hate fighting this guy. I don't think we want the strike. Actually, we did want the strike. I didn't think about that. We can't place it. Can't place it. I did not think about that. We didn't need that much defense. 13. All right. I'll take the back foot for the block. Don't even care about looking what we're going to get from it. We're going to do that. And this will actually take 
two uh, blocks off him. We'll take we'll take the damage there. He's gonna debuff us here. I think he makes us frail. Yeah, thought it was frail. He's got one more turn of weakness. Oh, now he's got more. So what we want? We actually have four energy, which I didn't notice. Unseizing top should have looked first, but we didn't have the energy anyways. It's okay. Poison's starting to really kick in here. We gotta just do 10 damage. Which we can definitely do. We'll actually kill him outright. So we're doing alright in HP. Power upgraded already. Yes, please. It's actually a pretty good power too. We have three ways to heal. We can heal basically 6 HP in com. Actually, 8 now? Do we have 8? I think we have 8. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Ooh. Ooh, I'm feeling it. Definitely don't have shiv. No way to poison. Way to do damage off poison, but not actually poison. The strength's not a bad idea, but really, I'm like in pair. I think we save. A, but we could remove a card and get rid of like a basic strike, which might not actually be a bad idea. Um, no shop in sight ahead. Yeah, let's um, let's take out a strike. Call it a quitzo there. We might have to heal before the elite now, but uh, we're probably gonna definitely have to heal before the elite. I hate fighting these uh, these fellers here. You kind of have to take damage unless you're willing to lose. That's what we wanted. Lose HP. Doing that because we're not going to heal up the full anyways. So the more I can kind of... I thought Pear gave you the HP. Did we not actually get the... Oh, no. I think we did. That was after the hit there. So what we're going to do is tools of the trade. Ah, uh, we're not going to get a kill here. Do that and do a backflip. We need some more damage, yeah. Alright, he's killing... Not quite actually killing himself. I think it's only 5 damage, yeah. So if he attacks again, he kills himself. This guy's gonna get ready to run soon. Yeah, he's already blocking up. Um... I think we're gonna lose gold... I almost just want to play, because we're getting hit by this guy. I pro Yeah, I, I should have neutralized him before I really thought about it. I think we just take no damage. This guy's going to kill himself right here. But we're not going to get that guy with his, yeah, 11 shield. We can't do that kind of damage in a turn. No matter how good the draw is, I mean, we're just, we're not going to, not going to do it. Sad as it is, we lose some gold. Um, but we didn't really have much to lose, actually. I think we had 16 gold. More actually, I thought about that. Probably didn't shouldn't have taken all that damage. I think we still got like more gold than we had, kind of thing. I kind of like the idea of popping into the weak here with the sucker punch. It's a pretty decent setup. Please don't be uh, okay. It's not the three birds, which is kind of what I didn't want. I actually think I'm okay with this. We don't need the backflip um, at all, actually. So we we shouldn't. Ah, uh, man. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get the three attacks on him in a turn. I would kind of have to kill because he needs to buff himself, though. Man, that sinks. It's like no damage. We need to get three attacks on that guy in a single turn, basically. To get him on the ground and then be able to hurt him next turn. Which we can do here, but we're taking damage by the other guy. Um, no, you're not going to be able to place that. So if we do that, it drops him to the ground, and we either block 5 damage or make it so where we don't have to attack him next turn. But we take 10 damage. Because he's going to hit boy poison here, and then he's, he's dead before he can do anything else. He's on HP. And that poison will get moved over, which is the nice thing. Um, although it's not really all that helpful. Alright, we gotta just bust that dude down. Alright, we're gonna get the heal up. Um, 
do that. And do that. We got extra energy next turn for not looking like an aggressive aggressive start, but I'll take it. So poison got moved, which is nice, so. That's some decent poison. He's doing a lot of damage here, and I don't have any defense really. So yeah. Plus for a week. Oh, uh, no! <laughs> I could have actually played it. That could have been literally... That could still be what makes or breaks this whole run. I was hoping to draw a daze there. Those are going to mess up the unseizing top. But, oh man, that was such a misplay. Such a misplay. All right, so what we're going to do here is play that for the heal. And then just hit him. It doesn't really matter. I actually killed him with that rather than the poison. Uh, I'm going to take the prepare just because it's kind of free. We definitely have to heal. I mean, we're going into an elite fight. Not going to be at the best health for it. So, And then, honestly, we're going to have to go here and heal. And I'm going to take the safe route up probably because it's the champion and I need full health for that guy. I also need some better cards because... We have a really crap deck. This is also the exact opposite of what I kind of wanted to go against. We have definitely lost. Um. Yeah. I think it's good. I mean, we healed 2 HP, so it's basically 2 block. As well as going to be 5 damage to everything. Um. Which I think is worth. We want to kill that back guy as soon as possible before he does his crap. Uh, we'll get rid of the defend. Definitely dagger spray. We are weakened. Ooh, man. Should have played that. Uh, we're in a real bad spot. We are not going to live. We are going to die. There's no way we beat the champion. We might get to the champion, but we're not going to beat him. Something needs to, like, major and we're vulnerable. And he's going to do his thing to us right now. So we are in a real bad spot. We're not going to kill him anyways. Like, uh, the only way I survive, honestly, is using this on these two guys. And we better have a really good big blocking next turn. We have two things... And then I draw two and don't get another one. So it's going to be these two and probably Flying Knee. Maybe that instead. But we have only defense to play. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't do one of those Flying Knee or anything. I think we're dead right here. I think this is our, our final, our final stand. Oh, we did get a defend. Okay. I mean, we still are, um, yeah, we did. Um, actually, we're not, but it's really close. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is bad. No, 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 get rid of that. Uh, well, he's dead. We basically need to put up. We need to kill him and put up defense. So let's, um, let me see what I draw. Okay. That was real, uh, oh, plus I did damage there. Okay. And that doesn't really matter. We gotta, we gotta kill him. So he's dead. And then actually the best bet is going to be, and he's dead because of poison. Bam. I didn't calculate the poison moving, but we were going to block everything, everything. Ice cream. Okay. I'm like, okay. All right. We have to make this run work now. I love ice cream. Flying knee because of ice cream. Oh, I thought we had a free run to that. All right. We've lost. We've really lost. Oh my. I mean, I, the couch, <laughs> I don't even know if it was worth it. Oh, 
Okay. Think. I mean, we take damage from this guy no matter how I play. Like, I don't think there's a way to not take damage from this dude. And they're both hitting us hard here. But we have no blocks. Yeah, we're, we're dead. I mean, there's not anything I can do. Um, we have to kill that guy, basically. Which still wouldn't win us this. I mean, no matter, yeah, no matter what I do, I'm taking... Oh, actually, I'm not. We do live. Not gracefully. But we do live. <laughs> One more turn. <laughs> Not gracefully by any means. And this dude's just gonna start hitting harder and harder. We needed to already like have him down. Yeah. I'm just thinking defending first. Like we have to not take 20 damage. My health will never add up to being safe. Even not killing him, playing the two defends, because that's only heals for two, so it's basically a two defense. I mean, no matter how I play, that is exactly 20. Like, he's killing me right here. I failed, guys. I have failed. That's what happens when I play silent. No, I played sloppy. I, I did a couple mistakes, so I took that extra HP that I didn't need to take that honestly could have been the difference there. Oh, that was pretty disgraceful. <laughs> anyways i hope you guys did enjoy anyways uh we might try a daily challenge coming up i may actually check out the one today and give that a go um or back to ironclad i mean we'll see i may play silent a little bit more and kind of get some more practice and go back on that but uh i don't know i enjoy the ironclad more i don't know who you guys enjoy watching more i'm gonna keep switching it up every now and then um there may be a couple times where i double up on one guy two episodes like in a row but i'm gonna try to like alternate as much as i can but anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please smack the like button. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.